Ah, oh, the April updates. Remember the April update last year? That was actually alright. The Ewok Hunt game mode was introduced. Really, really loved that actually. And this year's April update isn't exactly a bad one either. Remember as always everyone to rate the update in the comments section out of 10 and I'll let you know my rating at the end. Capital Supremacy makes its debut on Kashyyyk and I will say that I much prefer playing this game mode on Kashyyyk than I do Geonosis. The map Kashiro Beach actually works really well and I was thinking like Am I gonna get bored of this quickly because it's on a map we've already got? And yes, while there are adjustments made to it, there's environmental clutter thrown in where it's not usually there and the Separatist vehicles have got the Separatist paint job, which I love. But you know, with these minor changes, am I gonna get bored of it quickly? I actually much prefer Kashyyyk and Kashyyyk is really making me want to play this game mode more, I'm gonna say, because I got turned off on Capital Supremacy in the first place after Geonosis. I just really don't like that map, I'm not a fan of Geonosis in Battlefront 2, but Kashyyyk is actually making me want to play this game mode. And you know what else is really making me want to play this game mode? Well, a lot of things, but let's start at the top. Darth Maul, my man, my main man, I could say, from day one. Darth Maul's always been my main, and then he's significantly and gradually, let's say, got worse with each update, and now they finally fixed him. He's got a block, and I love it. I love Yoda's block, don't get me wrong, the animation isn't that much different, but Darth Maul, he really needed this block, I think, to counter Anakin. Before Anakin was in the game, he didn't really need it, but I'm loving Darth Maul now. Could he be my favourite villain again? That's not me saying he's better than Palpatine or anything like that, I'm just saying for my playstyle, I think Darth Maul is back at number one for me. But Yoda now can jump high and block as well, really really loving that, Obi-Wan Kenobi's got his old jump animation back, the chosen one or the nerfed one as they're calling him. Anakin, I still, there's a significant amount of skill I think you need for Anakin here, but at the same time, if you're against the right players at the right time, then you can still dominate with Anakin. I think I'd leave Anakin how he is for now, see how it goes down with people. We probably need to test out this guy over a period of time, and then we can see where that leads us. Vader can jump higher now. Uh, Chewie's got a, a buff, and I'm, I'm loving Chewie. His ground slam isn't glitchy, or it hasn't glitched for me yet. I'm really, really loving Chewie. I have to say, though, my favourite thing about this update is being able to stare at the Princess Leia skin. You know, who needs to play as these skins? That doesn't matter. I absolutely love just sitting in the menus and staring at Princess Leia. Now, I think we all do, but let's be honest here. I'm kind of annoyed that they, uh... I mean, it's a great thing. It's a great thing that they surprise us with this. And trust me, I want them to do this every month. It's just kind of annoying that we can't use it for a week. I really want to use this skin. Could be my new favourite in the game because it's just such an iconic skin. 10 out of 10 looks absolutely amazing. And overall, I just want to get playing with this skin. Also, I want to give a shout out to DICE here because this is something really small, but it's something I've been wanting since Capital Supremacy arrived. And that is a permanent tile in the selection screen. So yeah, they added this. I'm not being sarcastic or anything. This needed to be in there because something I've noticed with Battlefront is when they don't add in these permanent tiles and it's just an annotation on the home screen, the game modes always seem to be like glitchy. I, is that just me? So I'm glad I would say now this game mode is properly cemented into the game. And that's all I can really say about this update, guys. I mean, be sure to rate it in the comments section, as always. I'm gonna give this one a 6, and that's not me being picky, saying, oh, there's nothing in it, anything like that. The problem is it's not a content update in terms of adding a lot of content, so it doesn't get the higher numbers. However, at the same time, it, balance, it balances things, it makes Darth Maul amazing, and overall, I do feel when it comes to quality of life, this is a huge improvement. Um, maybe my favourite quality of life update yet. So. Yeah, 6 out of 10 for me guys, let me know what you think in the comments section, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.